Is the company car fixed? Yes, it has. But there's no driver. I heard he was relieved of his job due to unforeseen circumstances. That's strange. Anyways, you look good. Thank you. I also hear some other guy will come for the, for an interview for the job. Better. So, um, sis, mm -hmm. what about the money you promised me? I transferred the money to you last night. <gasps> really? Hold on, let me check. I just got the alert. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you. You're the best. I know. <laughs> Thank you. I see you snuck into my bed again last night. As if you did enjoy my warmth. You're crazy. Very crazy, you know. And that's why you love me, right? Oh, well. See you later. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Be good. Thanks for giving me your time. You're welcome. So, how may I help you? You remember the last time I met you with your friends at the mall? Oh yes, I remember. And that's when I gave you my number. Yes, and um, it's about your, your friend or your sister. I don't know. The one that is called Kari. Oh, you mean the fat, ugly one? Yes. What has she done this time? She has one, done nothing bad. One week, one job. Are you serious? Yes. Better for her. Because I'm tired of getting bad reports about her. That is why I came. How do you mean? Actually, I like her. Yes. But I've been trying everything humanly possible to get her attention, but all to no avail. So what do you... What do you want me to do? Please, I want you to talk to her on my behalf. Sorry, I can't. Because she's not good for you. She's a petty thief. Yes, Caro is a petty thief. One man doesn't satisfy her at all. How can... Oh my goodness. Hey! Ross, take a very good look at you. Cute, looking, handsome young man. Why would you want to get yourself involved with that, that ugly thing? Listen, she's not good for you. Ew! As calm as she looks. Who is calm? Forget that thing. She no calm anything. She just disguise herself. She is no calm one bit. What are you saying? Why? Why would you be going after someone who is obviously older than you? Do you like sugar mummies or something? I mean, we the youngies, we've not gotten a man for ourselves and. You are going after that old thing? Ew! Anyways, in, in most cases, age is nothing but number. What matters <laughs> is true love. True love, what? What is true love? Shine your eyes open. Shine your eyes. As young as you are, looking fresh, you want to go after that old thing. Bad blood, old blood, now what is she going to give you? Don't even try it. Okay, I, I, you said she's a thief, I guess, then? You forget about her. Mm, forget about her, please. Ha! Sorry, wow. I think I have to be on my way. Alright. Thanks for your advice. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. Like us, never get mad. Now, old, old thing. Ah! Hi! I 
the daddy I was even proud giving him my number. I was thinking to Hey! Jesus. I'm just trying to be careful. This world is so bad. is that I told you now we have guests out here today so I'm going to meet my friends you did not tell me anything you did not meanwhile which girls are you talking about how many friends again do I have okay anyways it's Julia's birthday and Caro is hosting us so I'm just going to chill with them hmm? and I can't go with you go with me to where we need your gura gura you want to go with me with your father <laughs> No, that's not possible. You will spoil the fun. I just forgot to. I'm on a different people, so I cannot go. So you cannot come without mentioning my opinion. Let me ask you a question. Was I an Okada man the day you met me? Answer the question. And even if I am now, is it not better than doing nothing? There is dignity in labor. Which dignity? Which labor? Ah, that's past tense. So I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, you cannot go to the bed with this uh, kind of crap, crap. You want to spoil the, the, the whole thing? Uh -uh. The frequency is different. We are operating on a different frequency. Uh -uh. Okay, let me drop you. Uh -uh. No, for, no, you cannot drop me. Don't worry. Hmm? Don't worry. I'll take care. my life. Without you, I don't know. I don't know what would have happened to me. Thank you so much. All thanks to God, okay? It's nothing. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, that was the Nancy. I think so. Oh my God. I'm so happy. Hey. Why is the birthday here? I'm here. <laughs> Okay. I, I don't really 
Lisa. All thanks to you, Farah, I know what you can do. Yeah. I trust you. The millionaire baby girl. Our <laughs> millionaire friend. I'm telling you. Oh. Okay, enough of all that, girls. Let's get this party started. So now, what's I what's can't what's wait. What's I need to call my cake first. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh, we spell love and then you have a bit of rhythm. You go there. Okay, come here. Oh, we'll sing a bit of song for her. Sure. No, we we'll spell love first. No, we we'll song first. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Juliet. Happy birthday to you. So how are you now? <laughs> Plus one. Uh uh. Seven, five. As usual. So, so we spell love now. Then you got to get it. Right? Okay, let's go. Um, yeah, put your hand here. Put your hand there. Mm -hmm. right. So we join her, right? So we spell love, then you cut. L, give me O, o V, e. 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 So let's pop this champagne. Yeah, I'm gonna share this one. I prefer this one. I want this one. Oops. I can't wait. So we'll call the cake. Oh Who is joining me? I'm not watching my wife today. <laughs> I'm ready for the party today, so let's go. You know, it's a day, so you're gonna dance for us. Though. Of course, you know, I'm a fire dancer. Skip time, I don't joke with cake. Oh, wait for me to pop. <laughs> Your phone was buzzing all through the night and even this morning. I hope all is well. Yeah, all is well. Just my husband. He got me angry last night, so I'm very, very upset with him. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. You know my husband now lives in Dubai. Mm -hmm. So last night, our normal routine was supposed to call me, kiss me before I sleep. You know those sweet, sweet words that their husband and wife would just say to each other. He didn't do that. So I'm very angry with him. I'm not picking that call. He will pay for it. <sighs> Nancy, you're busting my head with all this love between you and your husband. <laughs> I have no idea what the problem is, but please, pick his call before he jumps out of that phone. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Hmm? Do you care for some tea? Oh, yeah, please, um, milk, no sugar. Uh -uh. No sugar. I'm sweet enough. I ah, I sweet enough. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You look run down. You must have drank the whole bar last night. Let it go. Of course, it was my birthday, so I was out for the phone. Please, can you pass me a cup of tea? Okay. I just this hangover. Which hangover? Am I or my Please have this, darling. I've warned you about drinking too much. It's not good for you. You can feel something. That's coffee there, that's what you need. What is it? But I told you, I told you I was going for my first birthday. Eh? We got there and we finished late. After the party, I couldn't come back and it was late. So why are you raising your voice? Is it my fault that you don't have Android phone? Is it my fault? Maybe you would have called to see where I was. Please, I'm coming. I said I'm coming. Has she gone to work? <laughs> yes, so she has gone. Is that a witch? Of course she's a witch. I don't even know what she's feeling like. Eh? I hate her so much. Like I hate her with passion. Sister, you can say that again, Carol. Her young guy is too much. Ha! She's so full of herself. Loading everybody up and down. Feeling like she's bigger than everybody. Exactly, my what sister. Is that she feels? Eh, after this, the stamp again, then watch. You know it's not good for your health. Can you imagine? As my mother or what? 
My sister not complain too much now. She's your madam. Which madam? Ah, uh -uh. better watch your mouth. Now, now me she won't form for. Now you should decide for me that has a rich husband and lives in the back. I remember we hear what. That's eh, not my business. Listen, now I've told you to stop drinking too much. It's not good for you. Ask my mama. I don't understand. She be my mama. <laughs> As your guardian angel. No, your school mother. I wish you the same. Why are you the best? I think it's just getting too much. It's annoying. Make a do. Let me. I need to speak with my husband. Pushing me, Nancy. Keep pushing me. You're pushing me to the world. Continue. But I promise you that soon, this very thing you're looking for, Igafia. No, no, no. You will find it. You'll see it. I will continue to push you. Yes, I will push you till you do the right thing. And uh -uh, what is it? What is it? I'm not supposed to be in this village if you know what you're doing. Oga, I will push you till you do the right thing and take matter of this village. Was I staying here when I married you? No, no. Answer the question. Was I in this village when I married you? I was living comfortably in the city. Very, very comfortable in a very nice apartment when I married you. It was your bad luck, Onyocho. Onyoke, Iburu Kenina de Nabunu, but Bunem Nisi, your bad luck brought me to this very It is you that had bad luck. In fact, bad luck is your portion. It is you that had bad luck, oh. If not, how can you just go from a big man to a poor man overnight? Not even a single service. Eh? Why would you bring me back to this village? I mean, I don't belong here. And until you do the right thing, I will continue to frustrate you. I will frustrate you in this village. Ocho. Ocho. It is you that is true. Okay. Ocho. Ocho. It is you that is true. Ocho. Let me tell you, Emeka, I don't belong here. My frequency is bigger than this place. Shut up! Which frequency are you talking about? I can see you came back with trouble. No, no, no. Ibu, I can't see you. I'm not going to go back. God, get power past you. Maybe things didn't really go well from where you're coming It is not your business, oh. It is not your business. Because if I leave you in this village, you will frustrate me. That is your mission. Emeka, you have to take me back. Who doesn't know me? Yes. Who doesn't know me in the city? I was doing well. Comfortably as a young man. Iburu Ocho. But God gave up. It is you that is telling you to Bad luck will kill you there. Emeka, you will take me back to the city. You. Send your account number, we will need for you. Just send me your account. Or I'll talk to you later. So you called? How are you doing? Fine, sir. Yeah, the young man I told you about your time. The one that should replace your know, former driver. It will be starting work first thing tomorrow morning. And please, I want you to make his staying in this company very smooth. Yes, I want him to learn through the ropes. He will be on probation with us for three months, okay? Give us two referee, but we're having a problem with one, but we're working on it. 
the personnel department is looking into that. Wow, yo. Uh, what's his name, sir? His name is Mr. Steven Okafo. That's his name. Okay. Like I said, a very young, handsome man. Uh, that'll be all, Miss Carol. You can go back to your post. All right, sir. Thank you. you. you Thank you, sir. Okay. And please, um, get me that some five. I yeah, would. Construction company is right. I right. would. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. All right, Amy, you have seen your account number, I'll send you one. All right, make sure the goods come in time as you go. Avoid you just like that. Emeka, what do you mean by that? You can hear you, would you avoid you like that? What's the meaning of that kind of language? What kind of talk is that? Must you take sides with other people? Must you take sides with other people? Emeka, I'm asking you. Must you? See the way you're here concluding. I don't blame you. Emeka, I don't blame you. With the phone last night? I'm sure I did. So I came back with it. So, where could it possibly be? Um, sis, remember you spent uh, some time at the living room? Why not go and check there? Probably you might have left it there. That's where I left it. Are you sure? Yeah, I left it at the living room. I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, I'm already late. I'm off to work. Bye. Bye. your husband yes i have called my husband you know he's in dubai i know he's in dubai but that's not the main point here i mean have you have you tried to reach him on the phone yes i have been calling he's not picking you know he's in he's in dubai now and he's at work so he cannot pick his call now that is why i came to look for carol maybe she can give me some money carol did you did you call her before yes so i called her one too she didn't pick so i decided to come here to see her now today you know who carol be well, you know that she already informed me. They carry her shoulder every minute. I mean, forget that thing. So what uh, should I do now? I don't know. Maybe you will stay and wait for her now. Yeah. I, I will just wait. I will wait. I need the money. I don't have any choice. Let me just sit and wait for, for, for Carol. Eh? If my husband and this are Dubai problem, you will call and call and call. It's okay. Who told you that you cannot get somebody in Dubai? What, what kind of talk? It's is okay. Is that this job? Dubai, 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 Thank you. 
You know that he loves you, right? I love you so much, son. Listen, I, I promise to do everything possible to make sure I raise money for your treatment. It pains me a lot to see you. <coughs> Sorry, son. Listen. I, I lost my job and that has really destabilized me financially. But trust me, very soon everything will be fine. I will go back to the group, okay? So, fine. Do you need water? Should I get water? Somebody have suffered. Eh? I've suffered. Just imagine I've been here since waiting for Karen. Just, 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 just imagine the insult. If I'm not a mini tight corner, will I be here waiting for Karen since? Ah, well, eh? you should know Carol by now now. Eh? You should know Carol by now. She's just too full of herself. Eh? I don't just understand what she's feeling like. Maybe because she was fortunate enough to get a good job for herself. She now feels she can be using it to threaten us. Can you imagine? The money I asked her since she just gave me the other night. Imagine. I don't just. Oh my goodness. Her Carol is just too full of herself. Hmm? Very wicked human being. Hmm? Her pride is too much. So much. She's so full of. You see the way she acts like a big woman, rich woman. I don't blame her. I think I have to go and join my husband in Dubai and get a job there. And be you clean. should, exactly. Holy because end. this thing you're always coming to beg Carol for money. It's shameful. I'm ashamed of you. Not like I'm trying to insult you, but it's too much. Your husband is in Dubai every time you keep begging for money. I think you should go and be with him there. No worries. And look for a job. You are correct. I will do that. I will even tell him to give me money. Maybe I'll open a brush shop or something like that. Be the insult is too much. And I pray that I, I get a good job for myself and also get a good husband. Maybe a Cambodia one. No, no. You should just be living in Dubai. Has she gone to? Huh. Can you pick your call? some privacy. I'm fine, just that my mom is very sick in the village and I'm short of cash. I've been trying to reach my husband, but you know them and this, they are Dubai work. He's not picking. I think he should be at work now. It's, so, it's okay. Uh, how much do you need for your mom? <laughs> I don't have any cash. It has to be transferred. <laughs> I got your details already. One fifty, eh? Yes. It's done. Oh, really? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you
So where's my own food? Please don't give her my own food. Oh, can share mine? Okay, I'll go. I'll go there. So we're going. Let me eat. Oh, go. Don't get me wrong. Yes, I have to go. I will give that to you. No worries. Where have you been? Where have you switched off your phone? Emeka, what kind of a man are you? Eh? Is it the time to ask where I have been? Please, let's go. Did, did you get the money? Yes, yes, I have the money. Bring the bag. Sorry, my love. Sorry. Where are your seatbelts now? Where? to see your girlfriend and you forgot about me no it was business i'm sure you are. i told you i was going for a business hmm. business indeed are you sure yes business, business. indeed yes all right <sighs> talking about business i have i have a good business deal for you If you do it well, it's going to fetch us cool cash. I mean, I mean, I know. I mean, I know. Seriously, I mean. <laughs> All right, just so tell me, what kind of business are we talking about? You just go here. All right. First of all, come and give me some sugar. You know, I've missed you so much. So come to the bedroom. I'm going to have to go. Come. <laughs> come and give me some. Stop. Come and give me some sugar. <laughs> Carol. Yes, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Meet Mr. Steven, the new company driver I've been telling you about. He has resumed work with us today. Mr. Steven, meet Miss Carol. Good day, ma'am. You're welcome to the team. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, Miss Carol, you can leave now, please. Okay, sir. All right, you're welcome. Mr. Steven, you're welcome again. Please do sit down, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Yes.
I'm sorry. What about? About last night. I, I was drunk again. There's nothing to be sorry about. Rather, you should be seeking help because it's getting too much. All right, fine. Accepted. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to see the therapist now. Really? Oh my God, that's the best thing you've said in a while. Come here. Thank you for giving me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Look at you. <laughs> Okay, let's just call him and so we can fix the dates. I will. The next availability he has, that's what we're going to take. Is that okay? Yes, it's fine. Okay. Thank you. you. I'm so happy to hear that. All right, let me join you. Thank you. Carol, thank you so much. Don't forget your appointment today. All right. Okay. I'll see you later. All right. Take Bye. care. Bye. Thank you so much, Stephen. You're welcome. <clears throat> My back. <laughs> control my life because I'm living in your house. By the time I'm done with you in this house, your life will be miserable. Rubbish. I made it for Joel last night. You say? You made it for where? I Who? I said I made it for our son last night. Hey, Emeka, have you become this shameless? Have you become this shameless? The Indomie I bought that I want to eat, you made it for your son. Oh, has he got it to this point? So I'm not the one to feed you. Just, just look at you. Just look at you. You're so shameless. No shame at all. So I'm the one to hold you for you. Eh? Is that what I've become? Where are you going? I'm talking to you, you are leaving. Ebeka! Ebeka! Hey! So you cannot feed yourself anymore. You cannot take care of yourself anymore. You can't take care of me. You can't take care of, of, of your own son. I will buy you and keep you. Carry it and make it for my son. I don't understand. I'm not the one to, to buy you. 
let's say um, power of love. Yeah, right. Who is talking about love here? Really? Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. Um, let's say power of maturity. Maybe. And look at this. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> hey, you're so beautiful. Look at the gap to it. Any man will go head over heels to have you. Stop! He put us a truth. Yeah, right. Okay, um, what if I say, uh, what if I say dinner tonight? Why not? Yes! <laughs> so, um, okay, I'll, I'll be here to pick you up. What time do you close from work? Um, half five, like about 5.30 p.m. 5.30 p.m. I'll be here myself. I need to go change up and look like a perfect gentleman for you for the dinner. It's so funny. <laughs> I like the way you love it's so beautiful. Oh my god, stop flattering me. You're making me so uncomfortable. So, how did it go? I have her exactly where I want her to be. That is the good news. What next? Um. <clears throat> I, I just want to make sure I capture her heart. Then make sure she falls in love with me. Then I start building her. Listen, Donald, we don't have time. You have to be fast with whatever you are doing before she gets to find out. Listen, listen, listen. To me. I need you to relax. When I say relax, don't worry. In a matter of time, weeks, I'm sure we'll start cashing out. Weeks is too far. What do you mean by weeks? What are you saying? Come on, you're smarter than this. I was expecting to hear in a few days' time. Hey, weeks. listen, that, that... We need to take it easy. We need to take it easy, otherwise we're going to make a lot of mistakes and that is the end of the road for us. That's why I'm taking it easy. It's not something to rush. No, you need to rush and be smart at the same time. What are you saying? Baby, listen to me. I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I am doing. And I promise not to disappoint. Have I disappointed you before? Don't now. Delay is dangerous. That is what I'm saying. Please. I know that it's not good to rush, but just try and do it. Do it. Be fast about it. I don't want her to get a clue of what is happening. You're actually beautiful. Can I get a kiss? Man, this is business. Just man up. When we're done with business, then we start with pleasures. But for now, let's do business. I beg, not for my handle. I beg. This is a lifetime opportunity for me to blow. This world is so bad. Hating without us. Envy and jealous. So hypocritical. By now, after coming back late yesterday. Good morning to you too. I hope you slept well. I don't say good morning. I'm pleased to know that I'm back to talk again. Tell me about it. About what? About everything, sis. Sis, don't even try to, 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 to divert this. Just tell me about it. About last night. Okay. Yes. I went for a date. Really? Sis, when did all this happen and you didn't even bother to tell your sister. Sister, you started keeping secrets from me now. No, that's because it all happened in a flash. Really? Mm -hmm. So you're trying to say that you just met this guy and you've already started going out on a date with him? It's something like that. <gasps> <gasps> sis, this is not you. What have they done to my sis? Okay, fine, fine. Tell me about it. Tell me everything. Everything. Tell me about this night in a shining armor. Night what? <laughs> in a shining armor. <laughs> Since you must tell me, please, enough. No jokes. Tell me. It's not my night in a shining armor. It's just some guy I met and... How did 
did it happen last night? Lovely. Uh -huh. We just talked, we drank a little wine and... <laughs> so tell me, did you guys kiss? Juliet. That's my name. Did you guys kiss? No. Excuse you. Do you like him? Yeah, I think I like him actually. <laughs> then marry him. What? Yes, you heard me. You're crazy, like certified madness. You're mad. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm just happy for you that finally you have found love. I'm so happy for you. At least we now have a wedding to plan. Is it not too early to make anything out of this? Of course not. Listen, you like him and he likes you too. So? So I'm not gonna count my eggs before they are hatched. You better make good use of those eggs before someone else takes them away from you. Uh, What's that? I bet you're gonna cook the eggs for me then. <laughs> we have a wedding to plan. I can't wait. Oh yeah, that's I'm right. You'll be your maid of honor, right? That's if Nancy lets you. Come on, Nancy's old fashioned. She's married. I'm single. Make sure she doesn't hear that. <laughs> So bad, How long am I going to continue like this? This is getting to 18 months since I lost my job. The Okada I'm managing has been taken away from me. I have lots of bills to offset. Oh God, what do I do? Why did I go to school today? You go to school by next week. Is it because my school fees have not been paid? Come. Come. Listen, I am doing everything possible to make sure I pay your school fees. Okay? You trust your daddy, right? Hopefully by next week you return back to school. But so is my mom. Your mom? Yes, your mom. She actually went to see a friend. Yes. Um, just go to my room and get my phone. Okay, sir. my baby! <laughs> I miss you! Look at you! Looking good! Thank you! Let's go! Let's go now! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you can't wait for her. So how long is she going to be here? Um, I'm not sure, but it won't be long. Okay, let me just wait. Okay, I'll let her know that you're here. Thank you. Once I get the money, I'll, I'll pay you your money. 
Trust me. I won't be able to do 100k. I will do 60. You know, this is this is the, the middle of the month. Carol, you don't have to be scared now. My husband saved me three thousand dollars. Once I get it, I'll clear the bills. It's not about being scared. I'm not saying that you won't pay me. And besides, you haven't paid any of the monies that you owed me. I hope you know that. I'll pay. Hmm? Don't worry. The issue of paying back is not the problem. It's just that I don't have up to eighty to spare. So I will do you sixty thousand, okay? Carol. And I will transfer it to your account. I hope that's okay. Hmm? Carol, now, oh, I owe you. I know keep it. Hmm? Don't send me. I'll wire you your bag. <laughs> Baby, you know if I have it, I will. You I'll... don't know what my husband can do again. Look at you. <laughs> How much three thousand dollars is in Nigeria? I know that's a lot of money, but of if I have eighty, if even that hundred, I will give you. But this is this is middle of the month. Yeah. They never pay us now. Uh -uh. They don't I pay. Send, send. <laughs> send. <laughs> can sort out some things. Ah. <laughs> All right. Not to die with their problem. Is it just there to send money straight to somebody's account? Mm. I hope you sort out the problem with the bank soon. Yeah, sure, oh, sure, sure, sure. It's done. Okay, it's nice to see you. Yeah. Okay. Tell me, darling. Yeah, I'm so taking. I'm see you again. Um, you know, I'm very busy in the office, but yeah. you can always come by the house. Um, yeah, let sure. me get the driver to go drop okay. you off. And yeah. where is he? Steven? Steven? Hi. Please go drop my uh, my friend off for me. All right. All right. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Mwah. Mwah. Take care of yourself. Take good care. Bye. And drive safely, okay? Okay. Bye. You don't know Carrie again. I said I sat there for the whole day waiting for her to come. Ah, uh -uh, you don't trust me. <laughs> she eventually gave me the money now. What to do? Don't mind her. She knows how to show herself. She can show herself, that girl, that girl lady. She can show herself. I hate her. See, I hate everything about her. It's not my husband. If not, this Dubai problem with their money. Will I go and ask her for you? I beg you. Yes, I'm already close to my house, Jerry. I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye. Yeah, you can stop there. Thank you. Yeah, you can go. Alright, you can go now. Yeah, you can go. Can you imagine what is going on? Okay? Yes, I'm fine. Um, that's your... That madam you asked me to drop at her house. Is she your friend? Yes, yeah, she's my friend. Any problem? No problem. I guess I have to go. Okay. 
Pleasure is mine, Miss Carol. <laughs> you are making me blush. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. See you back in the office. All right. Bye for now. All right. Slept well. I did. Your face is not looking bright. Are you okay? I had a terrible nightmare. And the thing is, this is not the first time I'm having it. What happened? The problem is, it happens so fast, and by the time I wake up, I forget. That's bad. You just have to. That's right. Aha. Uh -huh. The therapist said you have not kept any of your appointments. Did he call me? What does it matter who called you know that? The fact is that you have not kept any of your appointments. Has it come to this? Carol, I'm an adult. I know my left and right. I'm not a baby. Has it come to what? If you're an adult, act like one. I have also set up some job interviews for you, which you have not kept. What exactly do you want? I don't understand. If you're tired of me being in your house, let me know and you go in peace. I'm not going to do this with you right now. Don't treat me around as if I'm a baby.
urgent, so I had to. I had to rush. How are you? You can go. Thank you. What's up? What's up? What's up with you and that witch? What's going on? Witch? What's the new update? Witch? You mean, um, Haru? Do we have any other witch in this house? What's you question me all the time? I said, what's up between you and that witch? Oh God, why do you hate her so much? You sound like you hate her with everything inside of oh, you. Oh, please, spare me that nonsense. I didn't invite you here to question me why I hate her so much. It's none of your business, all right? We have a deal, and that is why I called you to know what's up. I am on it, I am on it, I have told you I am on it. It's not like I am not doing something, I am working very hard for this to happen, and you have to relax. You have to be fast about what you're doing. I'm tired of hearing, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. You should be fast about it. We don't have time. I know. And you better not fall in love. <gasps> what is wrong with you? Why can't you just relax and let me do this? Why are you feeling so well? I need results. Yes, I need results like ASAP. Give me legit results. Baby, listen, this is a mental thing. It's not something you have to rush. I have to think. I have to work this out. And it's a gradual process. So you take it easy. Calm down. I'll get the work done. It's okay. Same thing you said last week. <laughs> <laughs> from where I went to. How long have you been away? I don't know. You don't know? Is there anything you know apart from being stupid and useless? I think it's just the both of them. I am sorry, ma. Sorry for your entire generation. You know what? If I'm in position to sack you from this company, I would have done that long time ago. Look at his shoe. You don't know. The manager is looking for you. It's okay. It's all in the past now. Are you sure you're not still angry? No, I'm not angry. And I was never angry with you. Really? Okay. So, are you sure you're not still angry? No, I'm not angry. Okay. You're so kind. <laughs> it's okay. Come Come back. Back. I don't doubt you. This world is so bad, hitting without us. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Yeah. What are you not eating? Do you like the place? Yeah, it's quite cozy and very private as well. I like it. Okay, so we drink. So what are we toasting to? Um. Let me tell you. More money. No, so I know if I'm going But it's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Long life and prosperity. And I'm new, mm -hmm. fine love, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It smells nice. Mm. That's red one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes. Yeah. Why? Just close your eyes. No, I'm not close to that. Hey, listen, I'm not gonna hurt you. I I don't know, I'm not gonna just just do it. Ah! <laughs> 
Hey, I... Okay, I don't know what's going on to your mind, but... I don't have anything. Look at me here. I don't have anything. I just... It's on my heart. Please, just close your eyes. Okay. I'm gonna do it just because of you. Thank you. Thank you. Close your eyes. Of you. Really? Mm-hmm. I never knew. I was just expressing myself by I don't know how to say it, but um, I'll try. Um, I love you. From the depth of my heart, I do. Are you serious? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh. Thank you. Mm. Okay. while you do the eating right now. Mm. How does it taste? <laughs> it's quite nice. Sure. Actually, you're looking so beautiful. You don't know. Oh, you're so cute. Really? I'm not kidding. Thank you. I'm not me. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I've had enough. Oh, for me. Kelly is so beautiful. Thank you. I'm telling you, it's from my heart. You're beautiful. Mm. How will you remember? Mm. 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 M
getting better. Then go to. Then go to. Right. So, did Carol let her give you the money? Hmm. My sister, I was there for the whole day. Like, I had to wait for Carol. Before she managed to do her shakara. But at least she later gave me the money. <laughs> that I am grateful for. If they talk, let's say no, no, Carol again. She will want first show herself. My sister. Shh. No sense. Don't be smart, in I don't see pepper. <laughs> you, you said you too big. Ah, is it not my husband? All this Dubai with their problem. How about your husband? Have you heard from ah, him? My husband is fine. He's doing so well. And Dubai is fine too. I didn't <laughs> ask you of Dubai. I just asked about your husband. He's fine. Mm -hmm. He's sending me money very soon. In fact, once he sends his money, I will clear all my bills and everything will be okay. Really? Yes. Did you know I will see so those collectors. How about that? I see you. I don't see plenty. I know. <laughs> don't worry, the money is coming. Yeah? The money is on its way. Hmm? Once the money enter my hand, uh, I will sort you. So the money is now working from Dubai to Nigeria. Whether it work or run, I don't know. <laughs> as far as I get the money, that's all that matters. Yeah? I can't wait to taste Dubai ah, money. Ah. It's coming though. I'm even planning for, to go for vacation now. I'm planning for vacation very soon. Mm. Yeah, let me go and see my husband. I've missed him. Please come in. Sorry, sir. Please sit. Thank you very much, sir. <coughs> I came to see you for your lesson. Okay. There's this young man I'm seeing around this cabin. Who is he? Um, <clears throat> to be honest and candid, sir, I don't know who the young man is, but I think they have something good going on with each other. I see. There's something about this young man I don't like. Oh, really? Please yes. ask. What could that be? I don't know. I don't know, but we will find out. Uh, okay. I'll make arrangements for you to monitor his movements. Check him out. Okay? Alright, sir. I will do exactly as you've instructed. I'll do that. Alright. But um, from the look of things, sir, <laughs> you're really going all out on this woman. <laughs> Let's say I am madly in love with her. I can't even help myself. Um, sir, <laughs> don't you mind the age difference with due respect? Mr. Mama. What is age? Age is not important, no, no. That's true. The most important thing is that she has a beautiful soul. She's a wonderful creature. I think I would be very lucky if I if I can have her. No, no, sir. On the other hand, she would be very lucky to have you stand by her side, strong and fair. <laughs> right, in. So I I just pray that someday she looks my way. No, definitely she will. Trust me. Count on it. Um, <clears throat> meanwhile, sir, I was actually looking into the industry you asked me to check out for you to know how many manufacturers they have. That's why I like. Nancy. Did you take any money from my trouser? I'm asking you, did you take any money from my trouser? How much? How much do you take? Aleka, <sighs> please, leave me alone. Don't disturb my life this morning. Leave me alone now. Can you hear me? What do you mean by leave you alone? I'm asking you a question and you say I should leave you alone. What, what, what do you mean by that? Why are you even shouting? Eh? Am I not your wife? Then you can't take your money. Or are you not my husband? Eh? <laughs> I trust you. Is it not you again? When it comes to stealing my money, when it comes to taking my money without my consent, bro, your husband. Yes, you will suddenly become my wife. That is it. Emeka, 
Let me just let me let, 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 let me just break it out for you. Please oh, please oh, leave me alone. Leave me and let me have peace. Bad enough, you brought me to this place to frustrate me. You have brought me here to suffer. If not, you lost your job in the city. Why can't you just get another job and let me be there? I don't belong here. Oh. I don't belong here at all. Ha. Madam Swan. Madam Frequency. You don't belong here. All you know is yourself. You and you and you. You don't know, you don't put any other person in consideration. It's just you. No one else. Hey, Rebecca, hold it there. What, 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 what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What I mean by that is that you know the situation surrounding us after I lost my job. Yes, Nancy, you know the situation that brought us to this village. But instead of you to work with me, instead of you to work with me as man and wife to achieve a goal, to make a better living, oh. you rather work against me. No, Emeka, I disagree with you. I disagree with you. My swagger frequency is not in this village. No, oh, yeah? you cannot cajon me into staying here with you. Oh, yeah? Yes, I operate on Dubai level. Mm -hmm. I operate on a classy level. Yes, sir. You lose your job, you get another job. So why will you bring me here to come and suffer? Madam Dubai. Eh? Madam frequency, Madam high level. That is how I operate. Metamorphose to Dubai now. You want to go to Dubai? I should take you out of this place. Emeka? No, 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 enter Emeka? my bag. Let I me take you out of here. this place. I don't belong here at all, oh. Okwagi? Just, 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 just look at me. Okwagi? Eh? Nancy Okwagi? Emeka, look at what you have reduced me to. What is it? Okwagi? Eh? No, 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 see me, oh. See me, oh. See this is everywhere. See Cotton. How do I survive here? How do I survive here? You need my swag to come and be doing a higher level with you. Eh, hey, stop it, oh. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold yourself there. I'm just on my way now. My night was good. Alright, see you soon. To now we stand and pray to the See, I don't always do this. I don't do it. But I'm actually telling you because um, 
both of us are one already and I want us to get involved together. It's going to be big for us. So, and the problem now is this. If I don't get involved by the end of today, I'm going to lose out big time. But you know I'm not a businesswoman. That's the point. We're here to complement each other. I mean, one plus one is one. So, we should complement each other and listen to each other and know what to do when things like this arises. So, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Okay, let's hear it. That's my baby. Now listen. You see. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon, Carol. How are you? Fine, thank you. Well, hold on. Um, did you get the mail I sent to your your email? Yes, yes. Yes, your message. Yes, right? I've, I've handled it. Oh, that's good. Yes. Um, so I saw the birthday gift you left on my table. Thank you so much. Birthday gift? No, I didn't send you any gift. Who did then? Very true. I didn't send you any gift. Definitely not me. I don't. I didn't know who did that. Do you know I actually forgot today was my birthday until I saw that gift. How can you forget today of all days, your birthday, your special day? <sighs> I must have been busy with everything else. It's okay. <laughs> now you have a tax at your hand to unravel the person that sent you the gift. <sighs> You're right, sir. I have to get back to the office then. Yeah, you can go. Okay. Please, um, like I said, do check your emails, please. I'll be sending you something very soon. Okay, sir. Alright, just shut the door behind you. What is going on? Will I kill myself trying to be nice? This world is. My sister, I just did. Uh -uh. My sister, I just did. Today is the witch's birthday. Witch's birthday. Which witch? We get two witch for this house. Oh. It's Carol's birthday. Man, so ah. I hear. How come I'm not aware? So what's up? Are we celebrating it? Mm. Celebrate, call celebrate me. I heard someone sent her a package to the office and she's here to find out who the person is. Ah, really? That's nice. Is it her new man that sent it? It should be him now. New man fire. Ah. He's not any new man. Can you hear what? I don't understand you, Juliet. Why are you sounding so mean? Eh? For your own birthday, she honored for you. Eh. Yeah. So she know they honor for you. You where they work out with your two left legs, they come here every day, they beg money. She know they give you. Or person your husband they Dubai. It's just that sometimes the Dubai network is. I beg we could hear what. Let's plan something for her and maybe surprise her with a cake or something. <laughs> you are funny, Jake. You sound so mean. Be careful. something that happened earlier. What could that be? Somebody sent me a birthday gift and I've been trying to figure out who that person is. This sounds funny. No, it's not funny. It's not. Who do you think will do this? I don't know. I've asked everyone I think it could be and it's not any of them. And I'm so confused. I did not. What? You did? Are you kidding me? Yes, I did not. How did you even know it's my birthday? Um, Ma, please, uh, can you permit me to answer this question on that day? All right. Why would you buy me an expensive gift like this? You can't even afford it. Yes, I, I, I used all my savings. Steven, I'm not going to let you do this. As much as I love the gift, I will not accept it from you. Because it's, it's just too much coming from you. You can't afford it. Oh, please. I called. 
called your name before buying this gift. If you don't accept it, I will feel very bad. So I'm begging you in the name of anything you believe in, please accept the gift. It's for you. Be cool. This is just too much. It's too much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's so beautiful, such a beautiful bag. I, I really appreciate it. And you're the only one that remembered that today is my birthday. Mom, I am happy that, that you like it. I really like it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stephen. All right. Thank you. Yeah. The pleasure is mine, Mom. Thank you so much. All right, I have to go home. Thank you. Be careful. Be careful who you call friend. This is so beautiful. Meanwhile, how did he even know it was my birthday? That guy has some questions to answer. <laughs> It's a beautiful bag. Wow. Wow. The bag is beautiful. It's a gift. From who? The office driver. It's a lie. Office what? Office driver. Steven. This bag is expensive. How was he able to afford this? I'm surprised myself. Oh. <laughs> so fine. Thank you. He seems to be the only one who remembered it was my birthday today. So today is actually your birthday and you didn't bother to tell Nancy and I. I actually didn't remember it was my birthday to be honest. Happy birthday. Thank you. At least would have surprised you it's okay don't worry about it i have a date with donut eh? you sound surprised <laughs> uh, no, no not at all i'm just happy for you all right have fun thank you be careful planning to take that witch on a dinner date. <sighs> Listen, I don't know what your plans are, but this birthday dinner date will not hold. Because I want her to feel the pain. Yes, I want her to feel betrayed. I want her to feel miserable. Don't you get it? That birthday dinner date will not hold. Thank you. Have you tried to reach him on the phone? I've been calling him. He's not picking up. And now the phone is switched off. Hey! I said it! I said it! Men will always be men. He's not picking his calls. Eh? Now that it's time for him to show you love. Today of all days. Today that is your birthday. He could not show you love. Ah! He's heartless. He is very, very wicked. And I can beat my chest and tell you that he's with another woman. Yes! That did not even cross my mind. I'm just, I just hope he's okay. Because this is unlike him. <laughs> You are, you are obviously blinded by love. Oh, you are now vouching for him. Ha! Ah. Sorry. Just look at you. Take a very good look at yourself. All dressed up for your birthday dinner. And um, ending up in your sofa. 
waiting for a man you're not even sure he's coming. Thank you for rubbing it in. I don't mean to. I'm sorry. Keep waiting, he might eventually come. You don't look good, you don't look cheerful. What's the problem? I don't feel too well and I have a very bad headache. Well, I'm very sorry about that. Would you like to take a day off? No, sir. Even if I can get just two hours to go see the doctor, that will really help. Well, it's okay. Uh, the truth is I called you in because I needed you to do something very important for me as regarding this bag, but that can wait. You can take your two hours off. Thank you, sir. Please do take care of your health. Thank you so much. You can go now. Do you know you're very stupid? I don't know how this company employ a moron like you. I am sorry for my stupidity and uh, I am sorry for keeping you waiting. Just shut up because I'm still talking. And keep that sorry to yourself. I don't need it. I'm sorry, ma. Miss Caro sent me on errand. I can't possibly keep you waiting for nothing. There yeah. you go again, liar! Liar! That is what you are. Caro did not send you anywhere. She has not been around. Just shut up. You're lying with Caro, right? She sent me a message. Really? There is one way to find out the truth. And I must report this to manager immediately. Liar. Caro sent to my foot. Every day you keep changing name for me. Now from stupid now to moron. <laughs> Steve, I don't go wrong for you for this company. We die here. Your insult is not even moving me again. It's now a fruit salad to me. Your insult is a fruit salad to me now. I'm not going anywhere. Are you stupid? Idiot. Only me, Steve. What kind of rubbish is this? Every time, if you want to insult somebody, you call Steve, you stand me like a statue. Keep insulting me. After insulting me, you walk out on me. Is, is that not madness? Mr. Steven on an errand at about 12 noon. I don't understand your question. I don't understand my question. Did you send him anywhere? Or did you by any chance ask him to pick up something for you by that time? I said it. I knew he was lying. He didn't send him anywhere. Liar. I sent him on an errand. What? You did? Yes, sir. In that case, Mr. Steven, sir, you can quietly go back to your duty post. Humbly go back, okay? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Please. 
Hello, Mr. Steven? Please, wash the car. I'll be going out to the boss. Right, thank you. And, um, Miss Ada? Please, you have to reschedule with our clients for some other time, okay? Okay, sir. Just reschedule the meeting. And Miss Carlo, please sit down. I have a brief meeting with you. Please sit down. How are you? I am sorry, ma'am. It wasn't intentional, please, for you. That was very wrong of you. Why would you lie in my name? I am sorry about that. Please get up. Don't kneel before me. Ma, please, I can only get up if you tell me that you are forgiving me, please. I bear no grudges. It's just that I don't like lies. I hate it, and it's not good. If you're wrong for anything, take responsibility. That is how you grow in life. Ada is looking for every possible means to kick me out of this office. And I was in a tight corner at that point. I had no option than to cover up with your name. Please, I'm sorry about that. Nobody is going to kick you out of this office. As long as you do your job diligently and you're on the right track, nobody will do anything to you. Please get up. Get up, please.
I will not step out of this house until he comes here. What's that now? When there was no company car, I was going to work. Now that there's a company car, I will still keep going to work. So, how are we going to do it now? Nancy and I, I we plan on going to invent center today. How are we going to do, do what? it? All you have to do is um, get by my office and then it will be sorted. Are we going to trek to your office? Okay. I'll send you some money to get a taxi, get to my office. I'm sure the driver will be there. And then you guys can be taken to the event center. Is that okay? My driver is just doing too much. I'll see you later. Nervous. What's the problem? I am, I am fine, ma. Sorry for not picking you up this morning as usual. It's okay. But why did you not come? Ada insisted I pick her up first instead of the normal routine. Maybe she has a lot of work in the office today. I don't think so, ma. She's just been on this level. It's okay. I'll sort it out with her later, okay? I hope you are not going to fight with her. No. And um, some friends of mine are coming to the office today at about 1 p.m. They have an event to attend and I would like you to take them to the event center, please. All right, ma'am. I'm at your service anytime, any day, anywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stephen. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I don't mention. Oh. <laughs> okay, you may leave now. I don't mention. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Before Steven, your face kind of looked familiar. Not at all. Are you sure? Yes. Well, when driving them to the event center, please drive very carefully. Yeah. Um, these girls don't mean the world to me. Well, I mean, no, I'm <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, okay. see you later. Okay, okay baby. Thank you. Be careful. Be careful. So superior. I said there is none like her. My mom is saying, I'm already working on something. I know fish out. She cannot turn me to her house help. I know fish. She cannot turn me to her mate. See the way she will be. You need to be the dead there now. She will command me. They tell me what I said that my mama should be. Wait, wait, wait. I'm already working on something. And very soon it will mature well. You have a plan? Yes. Tell me what's the plan. The war has ears. I cannot say anything here. 
And why are you moping at us like that from the mirror? I cannot get it. Miss Carol. Yes, sir. After much review on your performance towards this great company, your impute, you have really dedicated your hard work to this company and we have decided to promote you to the next level. Here is your promotion letter, Miss. Oh my goodness! Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Director of Operations. Toyos. Oh my God! <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're Thank welcome. you so much. I know you must have recommended me for this promotion. I promise not to let you down or let the company down. Yeah, I'm really sure you won't let us down or the company down in any way because we've gone through your resume, we've gone through your performance, you are excellently doing well. That is why I personally recommended you for this promotion. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much. Hey, sir, please, you know, I, I don't know the CEO. Hey, could you please give me his uh, phone number so I can phone and, uh, and thank him as well? Sorry, I can't do that. Okay? Okay, sir. Now listen, whatever you want to relate or say to the CEO, you can say it through me. I promise you I'll convey your message to him. You it's okay, it. sir. It's okay. okay. Just let him know that I'm so grateful. I'm very happy. Thank you. You will hear. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Be careful. That's why I love you too. I don't even know why I love you. Maybe because you're beautiful. Maybe because you're you're smart. Maybe because you're elegant. Maybe because of your smile. Can you just stop? I, I don't know why I love you. That's just the truth. No, that, that's okay. Just stop teasing me, please. You just beautiful. can't stop teasing. Thank you. Oh my God. Yes. Do not must hear this. This came so unexpectedly. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Oh. So. Why are you not taking your calls? Don't worry. So. Let's continue. Okay. So, you know, like I was saying, this new dude that's been all over me. Just me. That's me, right? He knows that it's just you or nobody else. Let's know you the question. Do you know his name, his number, his address? Uh... Wait, can you just pick this call? The call is beginning to annoy Don't worry, when she's tired, then she'll stop calling. Tell me about this new dude. I need to go find somebody right now. She? Why is he not picking his calls? Why is he not picking? I need to tell somebody this. Pick your call. Pick your call. I've got good news. <sighs> Take the call. Pick it up. No, it's. Can you forget about this and let's talk? Please. We're here to I have. Can't. You just said she. Pick it up. The baby, I don't like the way you talk at times. I hate it. Did I lie? You know I just said the truth. What truth? What truth are you talking about? We get to have a good time and this thing just disrupting us. She's calling again, so take the call. No, I won't. Pick your call. Why won't you? Because it's my phone. I don't want to pick the call. And I'm your girlfriend, I said take the call. I am here for us. If to... you're not hiding anything, take the call. I am right? hiding nothing and I decide to pick my call when I want to pick it and however I want to pick it. It's my call, it's my phone. Oh, please yes. Do that. Really? Watch me do it. Hello?
Hello? Why are you no longer talking? Have you gone down? Now? No, I'm not. You're not satisfied yet, eh? You know what? I, 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 I think I can't continue in this kind of toxic relationship where I don't even have rights over my phone. And with this kind of hand, I don't think I'm going to be happy in this relationship. That's just the truth. So, please, shoot yourself. Donald, you know what? This relationship is a do or die affair. It has already worked between us. All you need to do is to tell those bitches out there to stop distracting us. What just happened? Why is a woman picking up his phone? Come inside, tell us. Come inside, what is the problem? Wait, let me talk. Hey. Uh -uh. The guy is, is not starting. Sort and you deal with her. What did she do to you people? Nothing. Hmm? Enemy of progress. See them with their fake nash. Hmm? Very innocent woman. What did she do to you people? You people every time. Caro, 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 caro. Oh, true. Where she is now, she will be sneezing. She will be sneezing every day. That woman is sneezing because of bad, bad eggs around her. This one is even more than that. This one is bad with the mouth. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, this, this office is very cool. And I like it. 
But you drive an AC car. Uh, uh, yes, ma, but the car is not mine. Like, it belongs to the company. Don't you have the faith that you can have yours one day? Uh, ma, I, I, with with salary now. Ma, how much are they paying me? Anyway, this car is not even in my mind for now. God can bless anybody at any time, okay? Uh, yes, I will start reading up my feet, ma. That's good. Thank you. I have good news. Okay, I can't wait to hear it. I've just been promoted. Wow, congratulations, ma. I am happy for you. Thank you, thank you so much. You see, I wasn't even expecting it. But God did it for me. And he can do it for you too. Yes, you're right, ma. I hope it's on him too. That's good. Thank you. <sighs> I'm so hungry, but I still have some work to finish. And I would like you to take me to the restaurant um, a bit later in the day. Madam, I'm only on now because I'm at your service anytime, any day, anyway. Just stand on me. I will show <laughs> Okay. I will let you know when I'm ready. No problem. All right, stay with me. Sure, okay. I'm at your service. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Ada, what is eating you up? Why is your face not cheerful? What is the matter? Babe, talk to me. What is it? Taro just got promoted. Got see of you. You are wrong. The CEO promoted her, not me. We represent the CEO in this company. And you have every right to take decisions here, not the other way around. You are wrong again, my dear. I may be the owner's representative, that's true. But the truth is, the CEO has every right and power to promote and demote whoever he then plays. So, why was I not promoted? You and I know that I came into this company before Carol. You know that. Yeah, that's true. You came into the company before Carol. But right, you should be promoted. I asked the same question when the CEO called me and recommended Carol for due promotion. Can I call him? And uh, are you saying I'm lying? Come off it. You don't I trust so me so anymore? I didn't say so. Well, it's okay. That's fine. Go ahead and call him. Please, can I have his contact? I am not mandated to give his number. The CEO dropped a specific instruction that no one, nobody should give his number to any staff of his company. What is going on here? Nothing, sweetie. Why is it that someone cannot call him on phone or even see him? Is he a ghost? No, answer me. And that bring down your voice. Don't forget you're talking to the manager. Anyway, that is how we chose to run his company. You and I, we don't have any right to question his decision. No, no. My love. What do I gain be your girlfriend? A lot, baby. Because I keep asking myself this question. What is my gain? Nothing. Okay. Calm down. Alright? You now have your back, always. His money, I'll give it to you, which you know. Come on, fit. But in this case, my hands are tied, baby. I, it's out of my control. There's nothing I can do, please. Just try and understand. Really? Is that all you have to say? Calm down, please. I'm out of here. Okay. No. I'll come back. Hello? But you just shut up your mouth and listen. 
Listen to me. Your duty in this company is the car you've given to drive. And to always stay close to it. That's all. Sorry for yourself, fool. I'm here. I've not seen someone as useless as you. That has been my company name. Thank you. Keep it to yourself. I don't need it. Sorry, ma. Take this money. Go to Five Star Restaurant and get me food by Jess Press. I'm sorry, ma. This is not part of my job. Anything can come up. I am company driver. What? What did you just say? You heard me, man. Did you just stop back at me? <laughs> In fact, you're very stupid. You are useless. That has been my company name, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. You know what? I promise you one thing. I'm going to make sure and I will do everything within my power to make sure you are fired. Today! Thank you, ma. It's a promise. Read my lips. Make sure you are fired. Why, boy? You have seen Steve. Why, boy? Everybody, grab my. So one day you go and send me to grab my pack. Also, this is pack, sanitary pack, or buy. Your boy, boy. Don't you mind doing my business? My business here is this car, and nothing else. Hello, Joey. <laughs> OJ, I'm just the owner's representative. I will have to speak with the CEO, then I'll get back to you. I'll talk to you later, please. Now, what is it? Why do you barge into my office like that? I want Steve fired with immediate effect. Like Papa. now. Why? What happened? Why yeah. do you want him fired? Because he has beaten more than he can chew. And I want him fired immediately. What do you mean by has beaten more? What has he done this time? Can you imagine that fool? That low life? That hungry looking driver? I sent him to go and get me food, but he refused. He was even talking back at me. Ada. Ada. Joey and I know you want this job description to buy food. What? What kind of statement is that? You know what? Sometimes I see it you're against me. And that makes me wonder where we're still dating. Like, seriously. You know I'm not against you. Yes! Father, please, I must warn you. When next you're talking to me, you bring your voice down. You seem to forget so soon that I am still the manager of this great company. Whatever we have, Whatever is going on between us should be kept out of this office. Our relationship should never come in into this office. Please. You just confirmed to me why you couldn't fight for my promotion. And why you allowed Karu promoted ahead of me. You just confirmed it to me. You are wrong, baby. Come on. You know that if it's within my power, I will have you promoted. You know that. But it's out of my hands. The promotion came directly from above. You know this. I explained it to you. Why are you bringing it up again? Why are you bringing it up again? Why? Okay, fine. What about the insult? That hungry looking fool. A common driver meted on me. What are you going to do about it? Well, um, but I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Anna. 
There is nothing I can do about it. What? He's a company's driver. It's not his duty to buy you food. Don't you get? See, if he decides to do it on his own, fine. But if he says no, then he's on his right. He has every right to tell you no. Really? Yes. Nana. What is it? Do you love me? Just tell me the truth. You know that I love you very much. No, you don't. You don't love me, Nana. You do not love me. I do. You know what? We have to redefine whatever we are doing. Because it's not working. Excuse me. Babe, come on. There is nothing worth redefining here, okay? Babe, I love you. You're the most person the issue. This world is so bad, eating without us. Babe, Ganu level low. What happened? My girl just messed up the game. How? I don't understand. She interfered in the game and now Karu is threatening to back off. You know the kind of girlfriend you have. You would have put her under control before imparting I was control. never anticipating this. How am I supposed to know? Tell me exactly what happened. Okay. I was with Evelyn and Karu called. Then she picked up the phone. Damn it. Why would she pick your calls? Has it got into that? I don't even understand. I don't even know the kind of person she, uh, she is. Eh? I wonder. And you allowed her to get away with you. What am I supposed to do now? Tell me, what am I supposed to do? You need to come over to the house. I don't think it is even good for us to see. It's, it's not safe. Uh, see, let's just stop seeing, please. Let's stop seeing. Hello? Hello? Caro sent me to. To do. Tell me who she is. Okay, she's a nobody. When I mean nobody, she is a nobody. 
She's just a friend and there's nothing attached to it. No strings attached. I, I swear, I swear God. Nothing attached. She's just a friend. Just a friend? And she picks your call? Hey, please, can we forget about her and talk about something else? Okay, okay, okay. She picked my call. I am sorry about that. I don't know what came over her. I actually told her to stop. You know what? Leave my office. Baby, how are you? You heard me. Leave. Baby, um, I don't know. But I don't know what came over her. I don't know what happened, but I'm so sorry. We can talk about it. I know you're worked up right Stop. now. Stop. If you don't leave now, I'm going to call the security. Serious? Leave. Can I, can I call you later? Donald, leave my office. I have given her the promotion letter. Yeah, she told me. Oh, really? Wow, that's great, sir. So you seem to be getting very much along with this girl. Because she tells you almost everything, not minding you are a personal driver. Carol is very down to it. Really? Yes, yeah, just that she's keeping bad friends. Bad friends? How do you mean, sir? Her friends always run her down with bad words. It's not that I have gotten to know her to an extent. I would have been forced to beg it their trash. I just wonder, why is she keeping such friends? She don't know what they are saying at her back. That is it. Well, if you ask me, sir, she must have to be careful of such friends because they might lead her in harm's way. They might hurt her in the process. Yes, I am even looking for a way to let her know. I still can't find the right words to use to tell her. But what about this guy called Bernard? I am still yet to find out what he's up to. Or have you gotten any information yet? Yeah, the truth is, I, I have an information as regards Donald. I was about emailing it to you before you came in. But I'll do that. So I'll do that. I'll send you an email as regards the information to Donald. Beautiful, beautiful. I love that. <laughs> well, sir, uh, the consignment have arrived. They are all packed at the warehouse, so hopefully, from tomorrow, we start distribution. <laughs> I Ask you a question. Yeah, sure. Why do you always like to stand in front instead of back? <laughs> so I can be talking with you. Madam, you are just directly opposite Miss Adam. You are so calm, so nice, so down to earth. <laughs> Why do you say so? Huh. Madam, eh? Adam always like to stand back home and be ordering me around. <laughs> Sis, as our faces are different, so is our manner of approach. Yes, you're right. You're right. Um, Ma, that reminds me. Those two ladies who asked me to drop at the event center, who are they to you? Oh, they're my friends. Your friends? Mm -hmm. uh, how close are they to you? My very close friends. Madam, I don't like them. 
Why? I don't want it to be your friends. Even that your that your boyfriend uh, do not. They are. Will you shut it? What makes you think you have the right to have a say over my life and my friends? I hope you're not taking my friendliness for granted. Hit me with it. What is it? Since I'm not, I'm not sure if you like it. That's just the truth. Can you just talk? Talk first. You never can tell. Talk. Okay. It's about it's about the lady you picked her call. You see, that's it. That's what I was. Talking about your countenance has changed. You you just becoming too emotional. You know you know what? Forget about it. Forget about okay, I am okay, not. Okay 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 fine it's fine. Forget about my facial reaction. Just let me hear it. What's the business all about? Bring it up. Are you sure? I'm sure. Talk. Let me hear it. You must really take me for a fool for making such stupid suggestions. I will shout, certainly, if you make me shout. How dare you ask me, Evelyn, to follow you to one stupid lady's office to present myself as your sister and, and, and plead for, for taking up your cause the other day. How dare you do that to me? Wait, okay, in the first place, we are supposed to take my cause. We are supposed to take my cause. And, 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 and we realize, this is, you're doing it because of money. Don't you like money? If I give you money, what do you, you take? To so hell with that money of yours. Eh? And to hell with this stupid business. Don't ever involve me in such rubbish next time. Are you walking out like on me? Yes, I am. And if you just try to stop me, I will break your head with bottles. Eh? Nonsense. How did I make this happen? Evelyn! I think I've fallen in love with Steven. Who is Steven? The company driver. <gasps> it sounds stupid and funny, but it's true. My goodness. Sis. Is it because of the bag he bought for you on your birthday? No, no, I need to know. Sis, you and I know that you can actually get that bag for yourself, if you want. It has nothing to do with the bag. I've always fetched something for him. <sighs> so much you would be up. My goodness. No, 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 no. It, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. No, you're being dramatic. What do you expect me to do? Sis, you are in love with a poor, wretched company driver. And you expect me not to shout? Sis, are you okay? Sis, that guy is not your class. He's not your class and he can never be. What's up with you? You rejected all the reasonable men that came for you and you want to settle for that, that doubt? That wretched thing? My goodness, I can't believe this. What about Donald? Oh, Donald, 
Oh, we were getting on well, but I think he has his hands full with other women, so I broke up with him. <gasps> I'm not shaking news. I'm not shaking news, God. You, you broke up with who? When? H how? I, I don't understand. Does he know about it? Of course he does. <gasps> and why are you taking it personal? I'm, I'm not. I'm just, just surprised. I'm not. Oh well, I need to use the loo. I want to propose to Miss Carol. Really? Yes. Wow. Sir. <laughs> congratulations. Pause congratulations. Pause, pause the congratulations. Because I'm not sure she's going to accept me. Why do you say so, sir? She has no reason not to accept you. I'm sure she will accept you. I used to see the way she smiles at you. No, those are she knows smiles, you know. <laughs> so I'm sure she loves you already. Really? Yes. Really? Yes, sir. Did she tell you anything? No, she didn't tell me anything, sir. But I'm 100% sure she will agree. She has no reason not to agree. Fingers are crossed. Yes, sir. Then I will have to look for opportunity to do so. Sir. One more thing. What those files, those files are asked to, to bring to me to my house. Don't forget them. Oh, the jealous beggar file. <laughs> okay, sir. Sir, you know what? I've even compiled all the file together and ready to bring you to your house this evening, just like you requested. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that. You yes. never feel. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll see you. All right, sir. Let me get back to work. Hmm. My, my sister. <laughs> Let me give you the latest gossip in town. You don't come again, no? What gossip again? Hey, God. I'm still in shock. <laughs> Our dear friend has finally fallen in love. Hmm? Not just that she fell in love, oh, but she fell in love with a common, cheap, wretched taxi driver. You say? Please, can you say that again? I don't understand. <laughs> just open your ears wide open. I'm listening. You know, during her birthday, mm -hmm. her company taxi driver bought her one cheap local Abba handbag. Oh. And ever since then, our dear friend fell in love with her two fat legs wide open. My goodness. Our almighty Caro in love with a common driver. The matter tell me. An ordinary taxi driver, Abby, company driver. All of them join. Driver is driver. What was she thinking? Eh? Husband does car switch like that. My sister, I tell him you. Big girl like Caro. A taxi driver. Big mama like Caro. Which An ordinary big driver. I should tell big girl for your eye. Big mama! Wait, big. Just because of ordinary hair, bar handbag. She fall in love with Yakata like that. Eh, hey, what? The matter still they shock me. Eh? Eh? The matter still they shock me. How could Caro condescend so low to do a thing like that? If you ask me, who I go ask? Now, wow! Hey! Thank God, though. So, people like us, we are we are lucky enough to marry a mother that lives in Dubai. I beg, I beg, I beg. Move your way. What do you mean, driver? I want to discuss. Driver? Eh? Hey! You know, go blame her. You know, say she don't the mature way where she don't the old set. True. But drive her. She don't the old. I know, say maybe her husband. Say company driver one. Of her. Now, so it be when they go young, husband go the car, they go the do guy. When they don't, they come up Let for shit. Make I call my husband at Dubai time with this. Um, he should be free from work now. Make I call him. This world is so bad. Eating without us. Who is this? This is Emeka. Who is Emeka? Nancy's husband. Oh, are you back to Nigeria? Back to Nigeria. I, I never traveled anywhere. What? But Nancy said um, you're not living in Dubai. 
I lost my job and uh, ever since then I've had you know series of problems. I was left with no other choice but to come down to this village. Oh no, you lost your job and you moved. I've not heard this since before. But that's the truth. And how is Joel, your son? He's here with me. Hello, Joel. How are you? I'm fine. I want to see you. Don't worry. I'll come around soon. And why did you not go to school today? Because my dad has not paid my school fee. Don't worry. He'll pay it soon, okay? Yes. Okay, give the phone back to your dad, please. Yes, hello? I didn't know things are this bad with you people. Um, why is um, Nancy lying to me? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm confused. She has practically turned to something else since my crisis. Okay. Just um, give me your new address and I'll be there right away. Oh, oh okay. Okay, I will. See you soon. Thank you. Bye. Don't get this. actually turned to something else. I, I don't know. I don't know why she chose to keep things away from you. I even tried asking, but she wouldn't say anything reasonable. So I had to call you myself because everything is just choking me. No job, my son out of school, nothing is working. To make matters worse, Nancy is just, ah, nothing to write home about believe this. I thought Nancy was a friend. But without this, I just don't know what to believe anymore. But first things first, how do we get Joel back to school? I, I was riding Okada and sorting things out the much I could until Joel fell sick and uh, I couldn't, you know, remit money to the owner of the Okada man because I was investing it on, on him. So the Okada man now took away the, the Okada from me. Uh, Joe was sick? Yes, he was sick. You were actually the person that gave us money. I did? Yes. Nancy only told me that her mom was sick and she couldn't reach you in Dubai. <laughs> Dubai. <sighs> anyway, I will take care of Joe's school fees. And I'll keep doing it until you find your feedback. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, no, please get up, Thank please. You. Get up, get up, get up. Ah. No, no. Oh, Emeka, please. Get up. Bless you. God bless you so much. Oh, God, what would I have done without you? Oh, You're such a nice person. Ah, after all your friend did to you, you still have the mind to. God will bless you. 
Yes, you too. You and Joel did nothing wrong to me. Ah. Why, help only comes from God. Of course, mm -hmm. of course. And uh, I will speak to my manager, you know, to know if there's any vacancy in our company. Ah! Please. God, you are too much. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm so happy today. I'm so, so happy. It's nothing. Ah. It's nothing. God bless you. Thank you. Time. Thank you so much. Um, I'll be on my way. So what you do, please send me your account details. Yeah. Okay? Please. So yeah. I can send you some money. Yeah. And Joel, you. <laughs> Thank you. You can have this and buy yourself some sweeties. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, child. It's okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. So we'll be on our way now, okay? okay. Work okay. is waiting. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Thank you so much. God bless you. Okay. Eh? You too. Bye. Bye. Look after your, your dad especially. <laughs> All right, bye. Okay, thank you. to have enemies around me as friends. You know your husband, the one that lives in Dubai? Uh, you know he's in Dubai now. He's waiting for you with your son at your village function. He's still in Dubai. She gave us for Joel's treatment. Ew! You only call her and don't come on. Is she your friend? Did I tell you to help me thank her? Did I beg you to thank her for me and make her answer me? Sometimes I wonder the kind of human being you are. No, don't divide this. No, Emeka, don't divide this conversation. That is not what I'm asking you. I am not changing the conversation, Nancy. Why would you treat Carol the way you do? Why? All she does is take care of you and this family, so why? Mika, what is your business? I don't understand you. Eh? Are you now liking my friend or something? Because I, I'm going to say you have hidden agenda, Mika. Eh? Is it Carol that you are liking now? Tell me the truth, let me understand. I'm just like and I would have married her if I had the world with her. Hey, Mika, yes. Mad. You are mad. You are very, very stupid. You are very, very, very stupid and useless. Just look at you. You don't have your own friends. Don't you have your own friends to call? Why must you call my friend to thank her? You need help. It is you that need help. You need help. Hey, Mecca, it is you that need help. Yes, serious help. You don't have your own friends. A spiritual help. You it need is you that help. need help. Nancy, you need the combination of Father Bubemonsa, Mbaka, Orimeje, Pastor Chris, and the fact all the men of God we know, mighty mighty ones, all of them will come together to, to help you, Just to bring you out. Just look at you. 
You are so shameless. Don't you have your own friends to call? Why are you calling my own friends to come and rescue you? Don't you have your own friends? I'm asking you. It is you, you that need help, Mr. It is you that need help. It is you that need help. You will not try it. You will not try it. You think you can pull my hand? It is you that need help. Poor man. Stupid of Kada man. Stupid of Kada man. You are you that need help. Yes. It is you that need help. Should I go and steal? Should I go and steal? Should I go and steal? God, pray for us. Why are you shouting? You look scared. What is Donald doing here? And what are you doing in my room? Oh. You know, I, I totally forgot that this is your room. Alright. Do you have a problem with um, Donald being here? Yes. My ex, hello. <laughs> Goodness me, oh gosh. Donna is my ex, hello. I'm so fucking hot. Hmm? Are you kidding me, Juliet? Of course not. Uh, you know what? Enough of all this drama. Enough. I think I should just let you in. And what has been going on? You see that dude out there? Do you know? He's my man. Oh yes, he has been my man for so long, like my bedmates. You heard me right. Is the world crashing on me today? Of course not. What wrong did I ever do to you, Juliet? What wrong did I ever do to you and Nancy? All I've done is to love you and look after you the way I can. You call me sis, but you value your enemy more than me. Shut the fuck up. Because we all know that you are just showing off. Mm -hmm. You heard me right. You are just showing off, old woman. You want to say you get money, that you get big mansion, you get house, you get a um, good job, you get everything. Jesus. And you're here telling me you took care of me. You took care of who? Who you take care of? You are just showing off. Julie, yes. and you know that. Hmm? That's my name. Let me tell you, Donald is my man. And he has been my man for so long. Like, my bed mate. Like, the guy is cold in bed. So good that I can't even let him go. And um, I actually sent him to you. Like, I told him to make you fall in love with him. So that we can be extorting money from you. Since you won't show me, say you get money, plenty money. So now you make I send and make you help me. Make my life change. I'm tired of all those chicken changes you've been giving me. Like I need it in bulk. I need it big. Truly. I need to hit it big time. I must, I must pay, pay me my pay money. Now. You must see that pay. pay. You must pay me my money. I will what pay now. Sense? Julia, you must pay my money today. I will not agree with you. I, I will, will pay. Not. Not. See, you are tearing my clothes. And so what? What's my business? I will even tear it more. Hey, hey, hey. Give me my money. I've left your house now. Leave Give me my money. When I get your money, I'll pay you. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Stop. What is it? Stop. What's wrong? This girl you're seeing here took my money from my house. She has to pay all the money she took from my house. Huh? She's an ungrateful human being. Okay. How much is she owing you? Um, she knows. Julia, talk. Don't you have mouth? Can't you talk again? Pay her. Ladies, this is not good for any of you, okay? Let's go somewhere, sit down and iron this out. 
I'll pay you everything she's owing you. <laughs> just, just let her go, please. Hey, let her go. Madam, you don't know this girl. You pay for she me. She does not deserve any help from anybody. She's devil, evil child, evil human being. Please, let her go. Let, let her go. How will she pay you? It's obvious she doesn't have the money. Yeah, okay? Let's, have it to Let's go somewhere and sit down and iron it out. I'll pay you everything. Are you sure you pay me my money? Yes, I will. I promise you. Let Thank her you, go. Thank you, my God bless you. Let ma. her go, please. Thank you, start today. Thank you, my God bless it's you. Okay. She has already torn my it's clothes. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll get you something else. Okay? Thank you. It's okay. Please calm down, okay? Calm. See, it's okay. okay just... She said she will pay you now. Why is it? Okay. I... Shut up your mouth! Oh, yeah, come, come, come. come. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have more to talk now, You have more to talk. Calm down. Now, why? Oh, I don't give her no. She said she will pay. Don't touch her anymore. It's okay. It's okay. Please, oh, I make it tear my clothes. Since your friend has kicked you out and you have nowhere else to go, you can stay here with me. Eh? Serious, of course. Hey, madam, thank no, you no, so no, much. No, God no. bless you. No, don't do that. Get up. No, no, no. Hey, I'm hey. Don't, don't do that. Don't call me madam. Please, see me as your friend or your sister. Hey. Don't call me madam. I will live in this big mansion. Of course. Come on, let's ah, go. God will bless you for me. That's okay. okay. Ma, ma. Thank you, ma. Come on. This big mansion. Uh -huh. Hey, Jesus. Thank you so much. God bless you. God will bless you. Bless it too. God will bless you. Thank ah, you. It's, it's okay. If not for you, I would have seen myself in the village. It's okay. The village is so. <laughs> hey. It's okay. Let me help you. Huh? Let me help you with this. <laughs> hey, you're so kind. It's Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. Don't worry about it. Come on, Bobo, and be born in village. <laughs> So relax. When I come out, I'll take. I'll show you to your room. Thank you so much. You're such an angel. It's okay. I'm not. I'm just Carol. Just relax, okay? So um, I'll show you your room as soon as I'm back. Okay. Thank you. Ah, thank you so much. Jesus. So we still have good people in this world. Hi. God, thank you. This woman is a God sent. If not now, that I've seen myself in the village. What's not good, my people? Why am I so unfortunate with friends? In fact, with everything, why am I so nice to people who turn around to stab me in the back? What wrong did I ever do to Juliet and Nancy and even to Donald? Juliet that I picked up from the gutters and gave her life, she even wants me dead. Have you? Where will you be going? 
It is none of your business. Mind your damn business. As for why I'm leaving, you already know why, right? Rubbish. So sit yourself and enjoy your big mansion in here. I should be the one angry with you and Nancy. Especially you, Juliet. I thought you were your best friend. Who is your best friend? You don't know what to call best friend. It is me, Juliet. Me. Hey, Juliet, you have really suffered. And if you want to get angry, I'm not holding you. If you want to get, see, look at the wall. Carry this on Kono's head. Jam on the wall. It is none of my business. Or you can as well go and hug Transformer. I don't care. Nonsense. Do you understand? I know sent. Where are the very person next? Grand fool everywhere where they the very person. So it's none of my business. If you want to get angry, get angry. Rubbish. Because it helped me. I should not be licking your ass. Dirty ass. Let it be on record that I never asked you to leave. You can stay in your big mansion alone. I'm leaving. I'm tired of your short flight. Don't leave them. Don't leave them. This world is so bad, hitting without us. I want to welcome you all to my humble abode. I know so many of you have been wondering why I invited you to my house. A lot of you have been asking so many questions, mysterious questions like, are we working for a ghost? Who is the CEO? Is he a ghost? I want his number. So why can't I have his number? I need to congratulate him. I need to appreciate him. For this, for that. Your dream has finally come true. Your dream has come to pass because today I will be bringing the CEO to introduce to you formally. Hello, Mr. Steven. So please, let's go pick the CEO. All right. And please, I want to beg you all to exercise a little patience with me. I'll be back in a jiffy. Let me go get you the CEO. Thank you. We can't wait to see him. Uh, I present you all your CEO, Chairman Executive Officer of Space Company. Yes, I am the CEO, Alvin Global Concept Limited, and not the Steve, the company driver. So you've been in disguise? Yes, yes. Why, if I may ask? Let me say, I want to find out the bad eggs in my company. Mm. But along the line, something happened. Sir, please, I am sorry. I have wronged you in so many ways. Please forgive me, sir. That wasn't me, I promise you. I'm sorry, sir. Please forgive me. You are apologizing because I am no longer still. How do you apologize to Mr. Obina that you made to resign? based on your ill treatment to him. 
Am I talking about the former receptionist? That you made me stand down here to sack because she didn't do your bidding. I will not sack you because you are the oldest staff in this company. But if you must stay, there must be consequences for your actions that will serve as a lesson to others. Yes. Sorry, sir. Sir, please forgive her. I'm sure she has learned her lessons. Yes, sir. I have changed. I'm sorry, please forgive me from my heart. It won't happen again, sir. I'm a changed person now, sir. Sorry, sir. You can proceed. Yes, I will forgive you. But I need to make some adjustment. Tina. Yes, sir. Henceforth. You are now the company's secretary. Thank you, sir. Ada, you are now the receptionist. And your salary still remains the same. Thank you, sir. Tina, yes, sir. your salary will be increased by 30%. Thank you so much, sir. All right. Let me take you guys back to the business of the day. On my quest to refine my company, I found out that God works in mysterious ways. I found my heart desire, my soulmate, my angel, let me say, my Tom Tom Mickey Mickey of the Chokorongos Abarad. Bossu, my chairman. Thank you for holding it for me. You're welcome anytime, sir. Yes. You know, you guys may be surprised who the person is, but the person is not far from us. And I will not allow this opportunity to slip out of my hand. Exactly. Yes, I need to take a bold step. spend the rest of my life with you. Carol, say yes. Please say yes. Go, oh, baby, go ahead. Say yes. Say yes. yes. It's a yes. yes. Come on, say yes. Don't say no, please. Go ahead, baby. I'm picking up. Say, say yes. yes. It's a yes. Say yes. Yes. Let's do it. We can get away. We can get away. It would be a bad idea. 